Hey, 49ers fans. Our team is ignited with thrilling updates that have paved the way for collective excitement. Some fans express reservations, finding it challenging to absorb the unfolding narrative. Hit subscribe to cast your vote of support for the 49ers and join us in unraveling the nuanced layers of this groundbreaking news. After seeing the Lombardi Trophy elude them and end up with the Kansas City Chiefs for the second time in five years, the San Francisco 49ers should be wholly dedicated to completing the task in the 2024-25 season. However, this is easier said than done when they are grappling with a massive contract dilemma. Brandon Ayuk is absent from organized team activities, OTAs, as he aims to become the latest star-wide receiver to secure a substantial contract extension. This conflict has been simmering since shortly after Super Bowl 58 concluded and is now reaching critical levels. As more time passes without a resolution, San Francisco's championship prospects are at risk of fading. Understandably, this situation has been almost unbearable for 49ers fans. However, they might find some relief in gaining clarity on the matter with Ayuk's reported contract demands coming to light. Reportedly, the second team All-Pro is seeking compensation equal to or higher than that of the Detroit Lions' Amon Ra St. Brown, according to Jeremy Fowler of ESPN via NBC Sports' Michael David Smith. In April, the 24-year-old wideout signed a four-year, $120 million extension with $77 million in guarantees. His average salary over the first three years of the deal is set at $28 million. The 49ers will likely balk at this figure. Paying such a substantial amount to Brandon Ayuk would probably necessitate trading another high-caliber player. Debo Samuel, who has been the subject of trade rumors for some time, could potentially be moved to make room for an Ayuk extension. It is evident, though, that general manager John Lynch and the San Francisco decision-makers have not yet resolved whether they are prepared to make such a significant commitment to the dissatisfied receiver. At first glance, many football fans might dismiss the supposed demand. St. Brown has recorded 225 receptions for 2,676 yards over the last two regular seasons, while Ayuk has 2,357 receiving yards during the same period. He has never exceeded 78 receptions in his four-year career. However, the two players operate in vastly different offensive environments. St. Brown benefits from an exceptionally high target volume, ranked fifth with 164 in 2023 to 24, with tight end Sam Laporta being the only other Lions pass catcher to receive over 100 looks from quarterback Jared Goff. Ayuk barely surpassed 100 targets, competing with George Kittle, Debo Samuel, and Christian McCaffrey all had 80-plus targets. Additionally, in favor of the former Arizona State standout is his career average of 14.6 yards per catch, significantly higher than the 11.4 mark set by the USC product. These points are likely being emphasized by Brandon Ayuk and his agent during negotiations. Nonetheless, the hesitation from the 49ers' side is likely reinforced by Ayuk's overall underwhelming performance in the recent playoffs. While Ayuk's spectacular catch against the Lions in the NFC Championship sparked a dramatic comeback victory and should be duly recognized, his overall postseason performance did not meet the standards of a premium wide receiver. Big plays are essential, but more consistency was needed during that title run. At 26, the Rockland, California native is undeniably a valuable player capable of elevating teams to significant heights. However, questions remain about his ability to be the top guy on a Super Bowl winning team. As contract negotiations continue, fans will gain insight into where the 49ers ultimately stand on this issue.